Concept-based fitness and wellness curriculum models are focused on teaching students the how and why regarding physical activity and fitness. The philosophy of the model is based on three main goals of the curriculum. By completing these three goals, students will have the skills to participate in a lifetime of physical activity. The model is based on a number of important concepts. The basis of the fitness model is illustrated by the Stairway to Lifetime Fitness. In this illustration, students begin at a level where they are dependent on extrinsic forces to guide participation in physical activity and exercise. As they move up the stairway, they become more fit. The next level of the stairway involves a level of decision making which influences self-assessment and self-planning. Finally, a successful student will independently choose to participate in a lifetime of physical activity and fitness. To achieve this, the fitness curriculum model focuses on a number of broad concepts. Starting with general concepts, a foundational basis set. Students are expected to know, understand, and apply concepts of fitness. Behavioral and wellness concepts are included as well. As the goals of this model require higher order thinking, it is only recommended at the secondary level, although simpler fitness concepts could be taught at lower levels. The learning experience is comprised of two main components. Some learning does occur in the classroom. This time is used to teach concepts behind fitness activities. Some topics include basic physiology, self-assessment techniques, and fitness program planning. What is taught in the classroom should be material that is applied in the laboratory or activity classes. These give students the opportunity to participate in fitness activities which they learned about. There are various ways to coordinate schedules. Some, plan al some plans alternate classroom and lab days. Some days, some do both at the same day. Both experiences should work together to build knowledge about physical activity and fitness. Assessment can take a number of forms. Because the goals of this model are primarily in the cognitive domain, there is ample opportunity for qualitative and quantitative assessments. Much of the content of this curriculum is based off students learning fitness concepts and applying them. Teachers may assess students on knowledge and understanding as well as their ability to produce their own work using the concepts taught in class. Students are encouraged to explore attitudes regarding physical activity and exercise which address the affective domain. During activity days, students will practice psychomotor skills. Grading should not be based off fitness levels, rather proper understanding and application of fitness concepts. This model aligns to the National Association of Sport and Physical Education in Shape America standards. The model aligns closely with standards 2, 3, 4, and 6 and loosely with standards 1 and 5. Standard 2 focuses on the understanding of movement concepts, principles, and strategies as they apply to learning physical activities. This is addressed in both classroom and lab settings through the teaching of fitness concepts and application in real life settings. Standard 3 is addressed through activity periods in which students regularly participate in physical activity and exercise. Standard 4 asserts that regular, moderate to vigor activity is needed to benefit health. Students must understand some leisure activities, while still promoting health, do not necessarily deter disease. Through self-reflection and evaluation of interest in physical activity and exercise, students learn the factors which influence the value of physical activity. This addresses Standard 6. Standards 1 and 5 also are addressed in this plan, although they are not of the primary objectives. This type of curriculum is very complex and requires adequate knowledge of fitness principles, substantial planning, 
and careful implementation. You must consider the resources you have to work with. What facilities do you have? What equipment do you have? What topics would you like to cover? What activities are appropriate? These are all questions you must answer when implementing the model. This is a great program to implement the flipped classroom. You can create presentations like these for students to use in order to maximize lab time. This model can, can really help students gain the skills for a lifetime of fitness. The main advantage of this model are that it addresses the cognitive domain much more than most physical education curricula. The most li limiting disadvantage is that the time constraints make it difficult for a comprehensive fitness education program. Overall, the concepts-based fitness and wellness education curriculum model provides an excellent framework to develop a curriculum which teaches students the fitness concepts to participate in a lifetime of fitness and physical activity.